welcome to your favorite YouTube channel, Nation's Voice Tower. My name is Angelo Himalaya, your anchor. Today, I have two trending videos for you. And then, um, I bet you what, you're going to enjoy these videos, of course, um, if you've been following the trend of events. Yes, um, it's another edition of What's Trending Today. And uh, I, I know you're also glued to your screen waiting for me. Listen, let me tell you something very, very important. Yes, the Labour Party presidential candidate, Peter Gregory Obi and his running mate, um, Deputy Ahmad Baba, have just touched down in Ogun State, all right? Yes, today is the turn of um, the people of Abiyokuta to host the Labour Party presidential candidate. And all of you are shaking to hear what's happening in Ogun State right now. Now, let me make you wonder the more. Well, um, uh, Obi, or Peter Obi, confirmed um, his um, arrival in Ogun State through his uh, via his um, official twitter handle when he, um, he wrote uh, he said let me quote him okay let me quote him he said um we just arrived in abiyokuta ogun state for today's rallies and other engagements i am looking forward to it all we come in peace that was what um the labor party presidential candidate posted on his official twitter handle today like uh, some minutes ago so um right now um obi that is Peter Obi. Um, actually had the uh, is having the rally at the Ake Palace Square, all right. And then um, he's also supposed to have um, a town hall meeting with stakeholders before his departure, all right. Of course, he would also visit um, President Olusegun Obasanjo, who endorsed him some uh, many many weeks ago. And then um, he has few other engagements before. He leaves. If you have been following the trend of events, you will see and know that Peter Obi has been um, visiting two states in a day recently, all right? As at um, yesterday, he was in Abia State and Eboyi State. So today, he's in Abiyokuta, Ogun State. And then um, we'll see the next state Peter Obi is going to. That is that for the first video. If you see the massive crowd that received Peter Obi in Abiyokuta, you will be shocked. You will think he's a Yoruba man. But well, man, I tell you what, Peter Obi is really shaking Nigeria and he's turning it down upside down, alright? Well, it's left for us to see if the um, high turnout or the massive turnout of people or the population of um, Nigerians at his uh, at each of his rallies, especially like the ones in Ebony State yesterday and the one he garnered today and uh, in Abiyokuta, it's left for us to see if whatever they have come to hear from him will be seen in the polls on 25th of February. The next video is an analytical video that is coming from Arise News, all right? Now, Arise News have come out to really make an analysis of um, what um, Nasir Erufai said days ago, all right? Yes, now, um, if you've been following the trend of events, Nasir Erufai uh, came out some days ago. I brought you an update and made um, some funny comments, especially um, about what the president feels, and then um, about Peter Obi calling him an Hollywood actor, and then um, National El Rufai still went further to express um, what he, what I could term as fear over what the Labour Party presidential candidate has been up to. Okay, and um, he also expressed his own um, portion of um, his perception on, on the extension of the um, um, submission of old Nera notes and the new Nera notes. Now, talking about this particular um, incident or this uh, the, the just trended video of Nasir El Rufai is a spokesperson of the Atiku Presidential uh, Campaign Council, Daniel Bwala. Yes, if you've been following trending videos and if you've been following politics all around Nigeria recently, you would know Daniel Bwala as one of the spokespeople or spokespersons of the um, Atiku Presidential Campaign Council. Now, um, first of all, let us look at um, the video of Peter Obi in Abiyokuta and see the massive love he garnered from the people of Abiyokuta at the Ake um, Market, uh, at the Ake Palace Square, I beg your pardon. Watch it and enjoy the arrival of the Labour Party presidential candidate and his entourage. I'll be back. Let's 
So, um, that was um, Peter Obi. Of course, Nigerians are not only clamoring for good governance, Nigerians are not only clamoring for a good government, neither are Nigerians only clamoring for um, a revolution. Okay, um, well, someone said to me yesterday in an interaction that, um, well, he is voting, he is planning to vote Peter Obi even if. Not for any reason. He said um, he's planning to vote him because he's a new person to that seat. All right. He said they've heard a lot about Tinubu. They've seen enough of um, Atikwa Abubakar. And then they are going to try a new person, which is Peter Obi. So that is his own opinion. People tend to um, um, kind of transfer the massive love they've got for uh, other presidential candidates to uh, the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi. Well, it is left for us to see where he ends up come the 25th February. I will continue to bring you more updates as he goes from state to state to um, really um, put thrilling ideas into um, the population of Nigeria over time before the campaign times and the rally times do close. All right. The next video I told you about is coming from Daniel Bwala, uh, a spokesperson of the PDP Atiku Presidential um, Campaign Council. Now, Daniel Bwala came out to really um, say or draft or, or kind of um, draft out um, gradually uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the analytical part or the political part of whatever uh, Nasir El Rufai said in his trending video a few days ago. Well, first of all, I will allow you to watch Daniel Bwala in what he said and then listen carefully. After listening, we'll come back and then we'll talk one or two things about this video. First, uh, before we go, credits uh, to Arise News. Uh, before I allow you to watch that video, credits to Arise News for allowing us to tap from that video for illustration purposes. Watch Daniel Gula. When you come back, we'll talk about it. Uh, well, the, the comment of Erufa isn't a surprise to me because first, he is an APC governor and two, he has interest in delivering uh, Tinubu at all cost. So, and desperate people do desperate things, as is often say. Uh, there are so many things in what he said that can be faulted. One is the allegation against the president that the Nigerian people are suffering, and the president, that is by innuendo, didn't seem to have the feeling of the suffering of the masses. Let me state this: that if there is anybody who cares so much for the masses, I think is the president over and above the governors, because the impression they create is that they are governors in their domain and have a feeling of the sufferings of the people. So let's be clear that if the governors care about the people, they have had so many Paris reforms and revenue, you know, that was accrued or accrued to their respective states. They could have used that to establish structure and patterns that will give deliverables to the people. Secondly, those who are complaining about this restriction on the Naira are rich men who have stashed money allegedly in various safe locations across Nigeria. In fact, they've gone to the extent from what we're hearing of influencing sponsored dramatism, you know, where you find in pockets of places people dramatizing suffering. And then you see even sponsored protests in order to blackmail the president. Because you need to know, Mr. Charles, that this policy was introduced three months ago. It was ample opportunity, just like in the case of NIN, for people to be able to mop up. Admittedly, Nigerians are suffering. But the suffering, like the president has said in the statement issued today, is occasioned by still these politicians mopping up the capital in conjunction and collaboration with the banks, thereby frustrating access to the funds by the common people. That's why the president said today, when they came to you know, seek for extension, his statement is very clear. He is not extending anything. However, the remainder of the 10 days, which is seven, they are going to embark on a crackdown on banks and individuals that are frustrating the access to the funds by the common people. Like I said, desperate people do. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is Nation's Voice Tower. Yes, um, you watched Daniel Bwala in his analytical video there for Arise News uh, on Arise News. Yes, let us talk first. Um, now, categorically, 
the first point there is the allegation against the president by Nasir El Rufai saying, um, although by innuendo, that the president didn't seem to have um, a feeling of the suffering of the masses, okay, by um, not really listening to the extension of the collection of old Naira notes and um, the, the extension of the Naira, the Naira note saga, all right? Well, let us take it or leave it. The president has a plan, I believe. And politically, I want you to look at it critically. The president seems to live by his um, promise or uh, live, live to want to pro, uh, fulfill his promise of giving Nigerians a free and fair election, all right? And that is what is making, or that seems to be what is making the president really get adamant on the Naranote saga, all right? Of course, um, they have been pleased recently that um, he should extend uh, the date beyond the preferred or the said, the, 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 the said um, 10th February date, okay? But the president, and especially uh, from the CBN governor, Godwin Emefele, he has come out to say no to any form of extension. He says um, the tenth, the date, the deadline of 10th February stands. Now, this first um, point brings us to the second point. Why is the president and um, his, um, um, his CBN governor, Godwin Emefele, why are they adamant over this? Now, that brings us to the second point. Now, those complaining about the Naira are rich money bags, rich politicians, rich people that have stocked up funds and are afraid to lose it. Okay? Yes, they, have, they are afraid to lose it. Why? I think, let me bring your mind a little bit uh, down to the political aspect of this whole thing. I think the president is trying to um, curb vote buying in a way. All right? Yes, the president is trying to curb vote buying in a way uh, because um, during the elections, when you leave a kind of massive flow of cash, then there will be um, a high level of vote buying. Okay, but when this particular uh, money that people have has been rendered useless, that means um, you will no longer be able to cash in on big amounts of money during the elections, and then vote buying will be kind of um, negative. All right, or will be subsidized, subsidized, of course, of course. If you can't give somebody money, physical money, where he could see it, I guess he wouldn't be able, to, you wouldn't be able to buy his vote, his loyalty, and his dignity. Of course, they are well, um, especially most politicians, let me shock you, have gone to the extent of sponsoring a sort of um, dramatic um, complaints on internet and online, and they've even gone as far as sponsoring doctored protests to ensure that the government listening to uh, this uh, plea of the, uh, the Naira Saga extension, okay? Well, we hope to see if President Muhammad Buhari and uh, Godwin Emefele would stand by um, their own decision not to extend it beyond 10th February. I hope these videos were actually helpful to you and I really want you to keep your, keep, give us your comment in the comment section, like this video and share it too to Nigerians abroad at home i beg your pardon and those in diaspora because it is by liking and sharing this video that youtube gets to recommend it to people all over the world because that is one of the um uh, theories or that is one of the uh, um that is one of the rules of youtube okay please don't get away from nation's voice tower we thank you for your patronage over time and we'll always bring you the best from us here we're drawing the curtain peace out